departed. Now then YouTube, I'm the Toffman and welcome back to some more Departed. It is episode 10 right now guys, that's it, a full 10 episodes since we started already. Time seems to have really, really flown. So, let's go and see what the uh, Britannia Tower of Manor thing is going on and doing at the moment. Oh, that's, that's pretty good, that. That's going good, I like that. Especially considering when you come up here, um, there's not much in the way of manor plants. There literally is just uh, some hydrangeas, four of them, and then I've just managed to get the uh, the next layer of day blooms up on the top here as well. So we just need one more layer of day blooms on this one, and then the, the one will be finished. But we do need some some um, some nightshades as well. Now somebody did say to me, "Be careful," and this was in one of the episodes. "Be careful if I put a head hydrangea here, it will actually bring diminishing returns." In all honesty, I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem. Mainly because the two at the back here will always be constantly running at, uh, at good speed. So that these four, well there will be two here and obviously two on the other side as well. And then two there and then two there. Those will be running slower. I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. When you take into consideration just how many, how many things are going to be creating mana up there. And the amount of time I'm going to be using all of this mana. I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem. Not only that but I've got uh, ideas as well later on down the line to add to this. So underneath I'm going to be putting some more bits and bobs, but I'm not going to be doing that in this episode today. In this episode today, what I'm going to work on is um, just a normal be uh, regular, no, regular is not a word, um, regular tree farm. Um, one of those ones where you just put there and you put like eight things up in the sky, so that it, it uh, you know, eight blocks up in the air, so it doesn't grow over a certain distance. So you don't end up with the massive trees. I want something like that so that I can just go ahead and, and harvest it with my Ents ent Nightmare over here. Uh, over here, And then uh, we'll be sorted. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. But the other plan for today, guys, is some storage. I really need to move stuff and get stuff into a good place. Uh, we do have the Iron Chest mod. Whoops. Iron... Iron Chest. We do have the Iron Chest mod, so it's not going to be that hard. We've also got... Um, um, barrels, that's one jabber. We've also got jabber barrels as well. I can go ahead and sort out. I want to make a little area for storage. I think just off the right hand side of this, uh, over the sea, might not be a bad idea. Um, so yeah, let me go and get everything done and sorted, and at least, you know, so I can continue on with this episode. Okay, guys, we are back. Now I'm just going to go into here and grab my other two um, translocators because I have. An idea. Why have I not done this before? I don't know. Um, where is. Do I not have any left? Really? I'm pretty sure I put some in here. Oh well, well, we'll just get some cobblestone and um, change that into those bricks. Because I'm going to need to replace that. I did make my room. Would you believe it, guys? It's square. <laughs> it's uh, it's typical, uh, typical Toffman style. Oh, hang on a minute. Shift meant to hold on. Yeah, there we go. Just put that block back. I'm going to take these. I'm going to take my lava tanks. Um, and I'm. Oh god, did I break that? I think I just broke that. I think I just broke the the bloody blood borderless glass. Damn. I can't wait for my storage room to be up open, open uh, running. There we go. I do have some spare, so that's good. Yeah, I can't wait for my storage room to be up and running, guys, because uh, it's going to just sort everything out and it's gonna be great it's gonna be great guys it is gonna be great so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna nip underneath here and I am going to get my lava tank the full one at the back there I don't think that that doesn't directly put into there that's fine so I'm gonna get my liquid translocators I'm gonna put one there and one there and I think it's like that isn't it no it's the other way so it's like that and there we go how ledge is that? And then I can just do the floor. Like, you know, I could take that out and put that as a lava tank, that out and that as a lava tank. Then I can just, like, pop lava in there. No problems. I'm not sure about lava fabrication on this pack um, and what there is to do that with. But uh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. So I've got loads of limonite, gold, iron. I need iron, though. Iron is the big thing because I need some wood to iron upgrades now, guys. So I think an item transport, an item, you know, put a chest on here. And then have an item translocator, like popping into there. Or, or that, or is there any such thing as the tubes? Or is it literally just item translocators? Yeah. Oh well, 
Time to go to sleep really quickly. I need wood to iron chest upgrades. Now, I would just go to wood to copper, but I don't have that much copper in, in relation to iron. So, going from wood to iron, and the bigger as well, so it just makes more sense. And there we have it. Some item translocators. Um, again, I'm going to want one chest, but all the rest can go back into there and waiting for my wood to, uh, to iron chest upgrades. That'd be fantastic. My tree farm is doing well, by the way. Just to let you guys know. Um, yes, I'm going to want to get a chest on the this side there. Ah, uh, the thing is, I can't see the underside of that, can I? That's going to be a pain. Just slightly a pain. Can I nick this really quick? No, I can't. That's terrible. That was terrible. I'm going to need to do a little bit of a platform on the underneath side so that... Ooh, there's my, um, my skill that's popping up. You can see my um, engine, my what skill is it called again? Expedition skill is 14 now, which is fantastic. Also, my microwave skill is 23. Been getting diamonds and been getting stuff like that. Oh, and if somebody mentioned to me as well my ex my foraging skill, which is oh that is my foraging skill. Apparently, you get ender pearls and stuff by doing that as well, which I never knew about. So let me go and grab some more cobble. And then I will create a little bit underneath, just so I've got something to stand on for at least one moment in time. There we go. Can I really quickly do this? There we go. Yes, I can. Now it's time to get the item translocators on the underside of here. I want one on there, obviously, and one on there. Um, now, the one that's depressed is the one that it goes into. So if I do that... There we go. Brilliant. So now I can get all of my iron. Slap it in there. And it will go ahead and fill as many as it can and leave the rest for later on. Nice. Item translocators, guys. Right, guys. I think I am done transferring the whole lot over to here. Now, this actually belongs in the food. Brilliant. And we've got some spare chests that we can put into there. We've got ten chests. Nice. Um, I think I'm done. Everything I want in my inventory at the moment, I actually do want in my inventory at the moment. Apart from the chisel, actually. Which, uh, this technically is a tool. Well, weapons and armor, really it should say tools, weapons and armor. But it's fine. It's fine. Some seeds over there as well that I've managed to move. So, everything's looking great, guys. Everything is looking fantastic. So, last episode I did mention something about automating uh, with block breakers and stuff like that on Britannia. Wow. Look at that. That's crazy. It's crazy, man. Let's get the golden there now. <clears throat> there we go. Let it do its business. And then th this will just help me out like no end what I've done today. It's just basically sorting some stuff out and being able to just get things where sorted out where I want them. And I can come along and I can mess about. All right. So I want to make something, guys, from Steve's uh, workshop, which is the Steve's workshop. I'm going to need a blank upgrade, which is two wooden, two smooth stone. Luckily for me, I know exactly where all that is. Oh, I also need um, a barrel for my cobblestone rather than messing around with like that. Um, five cobble. And three wood. There we go. And what this will allow me to do, guys, I like this. I really do like this. So we've got the Steve's Workshop thing there. I'm going to just slap it down. You can see it's got stuff in here. I actually need to start putting some upgrades in because it's going to do absolutely nothing the way that it is at the moment. I need upgrades. And as you can see on the side here, we've got some uh, auto-crafting upgrades as well. Turn it into an auto-crafting table. That'd be nice. Um, extra storage. Adds extra storage. You've got charger, production speed. What I would like to do is get the... Where is it? Where's the crafting upgrade? Just a crafter. Auto transfer, lava generator, allows lava to be used, oh no, okay, fuel efficiency input, um, convert a crafting table and onto an auto craft, oh, well I just want a crafting table in there, do I just make it, I can't remember how to bloody work this mod, do I just need a crafting table? So if I do something like this, right, do I literally put a crafting table in there? Yes, I do. So this is, it's just a tiny little bit. I'm going to have to mess around with my, uh, my, ooh. 
way too, way too, should be okay. Oh, it's exactly the same as what I just had. Normal. There, now everything fits on the screen quite nicely there. So we've got this here. Um, I do want a storage upgrade in there. I think, because I can't actually store anything in there at the moment. Look, there is nothing there to store it. Hmm. Extra storage. Chest and a blank upgrade. Shouldn't be too hard to craft. Got loads and loads of chests kicking around. Oh. Did I get a level up for something there? Don't quite know what that is, but uh, it's fine. Um, doesn't stack well. Works with crafting tables. So basically, can I put that into there? Will that work? Yes, that will work. Brilliant. So again, it doesn't stack so that you can only you can only literally get five in there. Um, but what I can do is get a furnace, and I'm going to go ahead and do that, actually. And it turns into your, like, your one-man band. Sorry, I, it's been a while since I've actually used uh, Steve's factory manager. Not factory manager. Steve's workshop. So, Steve's factory manager is an entirely different thing altogether. And it's pretty decent, actually. I like that. So what we can do is we can take a furnace, and we're going to do the bottom two as furnace, the top two as, uh, as crafting tables. We can just take these out if we don't want to do them. So we can put stuff in here and get the result out of there. You do need to fill it with power. I'm not going to put the power in yet because I need to move it. Um, so we're going to need another crafting table. And another storage upgrade. Oops, I only needed the two, didn't I? Yep, along with the chest. Oops. It's the wrong bit, tough man. There we go. There we are. And we stick the, not the furnace, the crafting table there. We'll put the extra storage in there. That is very, very basic, guys, of course. That's very, very basic. There's other bits and bobs. The auto crafter turns it into an auto crafting table. I don't know how that works, so I really can't say. Uh, let idle components charge up for later on. Um, you get the production speed, which incre increases the production speed. I would think that would probably go in with a furnace, hopefully. Uh, adds an input queue. Fuel efficiency, so improves the fuel efficiency of solid fuel types. That'd be a nice one to get. Ooh. It's not too bad, actually. Because what I want, the re main reason why I want one of these guys, let me just pick access back up. Oh, my God, everything fell out. Uh, the main reason why I wanted uh, this thing is because it's going to help. It's going to really, really help. I'm going to put it in the... Uh, should I take that out, actually? I'll take this out. Because I'm going to be using this. Nice. Um, let's put our upgrades back in. Two crafting tables. Two of the storage upgrades. The main reason why I wanted this one is because um, it just makes making stuff like pistons and that lot a hell of a lot easier. So now I'm going to put some coal in there. Nice. And then eventually what I'm going to do is get that fuel efficiency and put that uh, in here as well. I think that's a global upgrade. I'm not entirely sure. You can run off lava as well by using the lava generator. You can run off the power of the sun by solar power. Auto transfer enables auto transfer to and from the table. Um, there's a filter which enables transfer filters and increases the automatic transfer capacity. We're not going to get into any of that, I don't think. Um, I'm literally just using this as a as a glorified crafting table, really. So, okay. Let me go ahead and slap those into here, which is where they belong. I need to make... I don't think I've got enough wood, but I need to make a barrel for my cobblestone really quickly. Seven. Oh, no, I do have that. And then a chest. So what I do... And what it can also do is if you pile some stuff up in here, and then, you know, you can make it, but it will take the stuff from here first. So it will leave the recipe in there. And the barrel, the cobblestone, I think I'm going to just, like, start at the back here and work my way along. Um, get all this cobblestone out. I don't want to clog up my entire system, you see. Once I've got too much of something, it will go in a barrel. Alright. So there we go. We've done with that. So what, like I said last episode, what I wanted to, to, what I wanted to do was to uh, automate the process of living rock and living wood. Oh my god. Blood Is that thing after me? It is, isn't it? There's another one out there. I think it's on the roof. Oh no, it's there. 
You're not enough, boy. Let's go to sleep really quickly. Yeah, I want to automate the process of living rock and living wood. Um, but it means some faffing around with a hopper clock. I'm pretty sure it does. Because the, the version of Britannia that's in here doesn't have that fancy new hourglass thing. I don't think uh, Vasquez actually put that out yet. I'm not sure. Oh, I forgot about this. I'll sort that out in a minute. But yes, that's what I want to do. Look, it's going nicely. Is my little tree farm over there. It's doing well. It is doing well. So the, how this is going to work then. I'm going to need block places and block... Oh, God, I cannot speak today. Block places and block breakers. That's the one I was looking for. I'm going to need those two. I'm going to need some doors as well, actually. I'm going to have wood left. Right. Let me get a load of stuff together and I'll be back. Okay, why don't we start getting on with building this particular thing. Now, unfortunately, I can't make hopper clocks just yet. I also can't make redstone paste just yet because I need slime balls. Or I need something that will allow me to, uh, to use slimes. Unfortunately, I don't have anything like that at the moment. So this entire process is going to be manual for a while. It doesn't matter because it's, it's still using this uh, this process manually is is faster than actually doing in it uh, doing it normally with the uh, with a pure daisy. So why don't I go ahead and we need to block. Hmm, do we need the block breakers on the top or the block block places? I think it doesn't really matter which way around we're going to do it. The block breakers do require the things though, so we'll put them on the bottom. Right, so the middle block is going to be right here, which means I have messed up with my calculations slightly. There we go. I want it to be right in the middle. I don't want it to be messing around. So there we go. Let's stick that there. Now, I did make a little bit underneath there. I haven't got enough space to get down there. Damn it. Damn it. Right, okay. Because we're going to need to put the block breakers here. Now the thing is that they're facing the wrong way, and I can't get them to face the right way, unless there's some sort of wrench. No, there isn't. Okay, so I'm going to have to do that from the bot, which means I am going to do this. Oops. Like that. And then I'm going to go down to that place and just place them where they need to be placed. Um, then the block places, we do need to do a whole load of redstone contraptionery as well. It's not really that hard to do the, what I'm doing right now. Uh, there's probably an easier way, which I'm sure you guys will be just tearing your hair out whilst, uh, whilst, uh, whilst, you know, watching me faff around with this. But it's be okay, guys. It'll be okay. So... What we're doing? Let's just go out here like this. There we go. Thank you. Get rid of you. Okay, so now if we do that, they should be facing the right way. Which is brilliant. Exactly what we want to see. Get rid of all this now, because we don't need to. Uh, we don't need to have that there. The thing is that they've got the holes on the back side there, but if you cover them up, it would actually spit the items above it, which is exactly what I want to do. Or at least, that's what I'm hoping is going to happen, and they don't spit the items below that, uh, below there. If it does, well, we'll have to, uh, oops. Uh, we'll have to, uh, cross that bridge when we come to it, so to speak. Ah, let me out. I need an easier way in, I swear to God. Oh, God. Look at this. The only way in is over there. Right where my house is. It's the only way. It's all too, it's all too high. Mind you what, why don't I just do this, right? Watch this. Watch this, guys. Why don't I just do this? Whoa, that was hard. <laughs> that was really hard to work out, that one. Well, I'll sort that out in a minute. Okay. Let's go up. And figure out how to do the rest of this. Which really, it's not that, it's not hard. Like I said, it's really not that hard. Uh, I've got 12 redstone repeaters. One has to go on each of these. Oops. There's no kind of redstone paste. I can't use the paste yet, otherwise I'd paste around it. So, should have plenty of redstone. I might need to just extend this out a tad. Yeah, we'll do.
Give us a little bit more room to manoeuvre. There we go. And by the time, when this has actually been fully automated, guys, when I've got the slime to be able to automate it, honestly, this is much, much easier and uh, one of the, the best ways of, of automating living rock and living wood. Like that. Okay. Now, for argument's sake, what I'm going to go ahead and do is do that, and then I'll put a button on there in a moment. I'm going to leave them there for a second because I want to put the block places like that. But the good thing about them is that uh, they can take the redstone from the top. Can I get that? Good. I'm just going to extend over here as well a little bit because I'm going to want these buttons particularly close to each other. Um that button's there. I don't want to... Nah, that should be okay. It shouldn't interfere with the other one. You know, at least that's the uh, that's the plan. Again, only until we've got something that will allow me to... In fact, I need that a little bit closer. Do I need that a bit closer? I suppose I could put the button there. And it'll be closer anyway. I'm just hoping that it should be within range, to be to be honest. Like that. Okay. Um, smooth stone would go into there, or wood, whatever it is that you're going to put into there. Whatever it is that you want to make would do that. Um, smooth stone will go into there. It will get placed. Um, it will take a minute. I need my thing. I need one piece of dirt. Of course I need a piece of dirt. I'll get smooth stone while I'm there, and I can be able to actually... Whoop, oh, just grabbed hold of the uh, ladder there. Just grab some dirt, grab some smooth stone. That's not a lot of smooth stone. Mind you, I did have some cooking up actually, so there we go. The bad thing is that you don't get uh, experience from that, unfortunately. Which is a shame. It's a damn shame. Wait a minute. Yeah, I've got it. My pure daisy and that lot, that goes into the middle of this. We go. Stick that there. Now, fingers crossed this works how I hope it is. And just to test it, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place that there. And I still... Oh, no, I've got some things to make buttons here. There we go. Right, that's that. And there's the block. Okay. So what we want to do now is we need a hopper hock to be able to pick those loose items up. For now, I can just go ahead and pick those up, like, manually. But uh, and I do need a hopper hock. I need to sleep really quickly, otherwise it will end up with serious bother. Oh, our blood hunt as well. Oops. Just killed myself. Quick, bed, sleep. There we go. Yeah, a hopper hock would finish this off. Uh, well, to, to be honest, to finish this off, I'd need the um, I'd need the I'd need the redstone paste, and I need some slime. Um, oh no, look at this. This guy over here. You can't handle me anymore, boy. Too much for you nowadays. Let's go back up. And we should be finished. I mean, this should... Well, I say finished. We should be half finished, at least. So let's go ahead and put all of the stuff... I need to do it from the side, otherwise I'm going to keep getting that. Um, 16, 16, 16 in each of these. This should be more than enough... Um, living rock for the moment with 16 in each of these two stacks it will end up as there we go and that one should still have 16 yes so what will happen is uh, manually for the moment click that it will place them you can see all the little particles and stuff like that that are happening right now again a hopper hock just off the side which I'm going to uh, go ahead and make, probably in between episodes, and slap that down. Because if any of you are avid followers of my Thorncraft and Britannia uh, Unite series, you'll know exactly how a hopper hook works. It basically just picks up loose items in the world and then puts them to an adjacent chest, which is exactly what we're going to be doing. So then you just have to wait for this to, uh, to change into living rock, and then give that a slap once it's done. Um, so, guys, if there's a way I can improve this, of course, I haven't got access to uh, slime balls just yet. I could make coagulated blood, but it takes forever to try and kill myself in the smeltery, 
and uh, you don't get that much blood from doing that and you run the risk of killing yourself so I don't really want to do that um, other, way, other ways of doing it is glue I suppose you could you could do it with glue but you need horses I think to, to get a ball of glue or you need blood at least how do I get it? I have no idea a glue block but it doesn't actually say how to make glue no, no idea there we go, look, brilliant. Now you slap this, and there you go. Eight living rock. Seven in this case. Oh, come off it. Look, it's just out of reach. It's just out of reach. Can I force you out? No, I can't force you out either. Ah! Yeah, I definitely need a hopper hock on this. I definitely need a hopper hock. But there you are, guys. That is going to be it for today's episode. If you've enjoyed it, please go ahead and leave a like. If you've got any comments or suggestions about what you would like to see or any improvements that I could make, then by all means, that's what the comment section is for. And uh, I do look through them as I'm going along. Um, so, yeah, until next time then, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Have been the tough man. And as always, stay safe.